Hi guys, welcome to my channel, One Green Love. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, whichever time zone you are in. Welcome to my channel. And if you guys already have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that button now and turn on your notifications so you guys don't miss out on any more videos. So as you guys can tell on the title, yes, we're going to be chit-chatting. We're towards the end of the summer, guys. I cannot believe it. We are in September. Can you? I can't. Are you guys ready for the fall? Because I don't know if I am, guys, to be honest with you. I love summer and um, we're going to get started. And also, I hope everyone's doing well. So I also have a peace lily. I did have a second bloom this summer, which Honestly, you guys, I was not expecting it. I thought that maybe in the fall I would probably have one, but summer was definitely like unexpected for me to be honest with you guys. And one thing I have noticed is like when it blooms, there's like this nice like aroma and um, it drops these little white stuff onto my leaves, which I've been curious to know what that means. I don't know if it's coming because the aroma is still like floating around or what all that means, but I just now noticed it, which I didn't notice the first time when it first bloomed, which I was kind of like, huh, what's going on here? But now the second time when it bloomed, I did notice it. And so now I'm kind of curious to know what this means, but Drop in the comments below, guys. I want to know. I'm not too familiar with the peace lilies. I'm still learning about them, but um, definitely would like to know what that means, guys. So she is definitely looking great. I also noted that she had another like little baby growing on the side. So definitely next spring, I would uh, would want to have like another pot so I can have two separate ones, which would be pretty cool. I also have another rubber plant here, and that is my, I'm gonna drop the name below, but <laughs> it's looking great. It's very uh, vinegar, that's the correct word that it's used, where basically it's not all just green. It kind of has like a light touch of like pink in it, which is super cute, and I really, really like it because I'm like, what the heck? How does that even happen? How does that even like, it's just, guys, I just love plants. Okay, I just love, I just love, love, love plants. <laughs> um, so that's that plan. I also brought my bedroom alocasia out here just to change her around. Like I said, you guys, I like to rotate my plants. It's super important. Like I said, once again, it's just the function of my feng shui, of the way my plants are vibing, the way they feel. What can I do to make them happy and myself happy and make this whole vibe kind of thing? That's what I like to go by. So I moved her out here in the living room and guys, she is just pretty. She's just like having a great time out here. She's, she's looking great, honestly. And I also wanna tell you guys if you guys have not watched that video, go check out that video right now where I propagated my bamboo approximately about a month and some change ago. I wanna share with you guys that she has definitely bloomed. She is thriving and she is going, 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 going. So I'm gonna pull her out so I can share with you guys. So give me one second. So as you guys can see, close, close up of me propagating the bamboo here. As you guys can see, look at this right here. She is growing right here. And if you guys noticed in my video when I said that we were going to put the candle there for protecting any bacteria, anything that may harm the bamboo that is slowly going to start coming off on its own you don't need to mess with it you don't need to do anything with it just leave it alone you guys 
And look at her, she is going. She's so happy. She's she's just like, wow, like I needed this. <laughs> so you guys, this is the bamboo and look at the mama here. The other one is just going. I love bamboos. I think they're super easy and you know, I think they're pretty easy to propagate and to take care for. So if you guys are up for it and you guys want a bamboo, go for it. It's amazing. They're beautiful and why not? <laughs> but as you guys can see, once again, looking all great right there, you guys. Amazing. So she's been doing great and she did great with the propagation success there. And we're gonna set her right back in her corner. And I'm gonna put the plant back in its corner here. And let's see here. Um, I also have uh, the monasteras as well. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and these are my monastera babies. They're still growing, 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 growing. They're all new leaves uh, that have propagated pretty much throughout the year. And there's still some still blooming. Look at that one popping out right there. Super, super happy. I would love to get another pot soon. And I don't know, my little friend here is like, hey, I want to be with you too. <laughs> trying to fix her up there. All right, put her back. And I also, Last year, I propagated the succulent. No, actually, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really bad with my timeline with some of these plants, but I will jot down the dates of um, some of these plants of when I propagated them so you guys have an idea of how long it takes. Uh, this one, I can't really recall when I propagated her, but I decided to put the grapevine on here and also a succulent. Just wanted to test it out and see if they would do well together. And they do. They also do well with um, my bamboo and also pythos as well. So, not bad. Right. And like I was saying to you guys, I propagated some of these Hoyas as well and these little jars. I think I have another one. I have one more set. So I have three of these that I propagated. And let me bring you guys a little bit closer. So up here we have another grapevine as well, ivy grapevine as well, uh, my Pia, she's looking super cute. Um, we have had quite some time, <laughs> I should say I've had quite some time with this plant this year. Um, I do want to say that earlier in the spring she was not really blooming as well like I wanted her to um, but then I repotted her put her in a new little like vase and she's just been doing better in this vase I felt like maybe what I had her in she just wasn't doing really well and she just didn't like it and so she wasn't growing any leaves like that but now ever since I put her in this new one she's just been growing and growing more leaves as well but I'm still learning so if you guys have any recommendations drop it in the comments below I'd like to know more about this plant but so far she's super cute I like the way it looks it's like got an eye in it which I thought it was super cute, but hey, that's my opinion, you know, I just like it. It's super cute. Um, it's super low maintenance. Um, it's just figuring out when they bloom and just kind of caring for it more per se. I'm sorry, you guys. I need to go turn off my washer machine off really quickly because that noise is really going to bother me. I'll be right back. 
sorry about that guys all right so like i was saying um so i have those set there and um, i do have an african violet back there as well still growing still blooming and i have another one over here i definitely need to find another pot because she is growing out of that pot which is so crazy you guys i will show a picture of before and after of what it really looks like but she's looking super cute and super pretty another succulent and i have another one back there african violet as well a pythos pythos pothos so sorry guys <laughs> Someone's need to wake up. Oh my goodness, I need to wake up, you guys. So sorry, but hey, I'm drinking my coffee. I will wake up soon, guys. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Oh, and I can't forget my big guy. My big alocasia up there hanging out. And um, she's doing pretty good. But I'm actually kind of a, a little little ocd about the leaf i want to share with you guys something pretty cool and i don't know how it happened because i'm still trying to figure it out but i have a leaf facing the wall and i need her to face towards the window but for some reason i don't know why she's facing the wall <laughs> and all my other leaves are like facing towards you know the sun where it grabs and you know tries to navigate towards to and tries to reach towards the sun but for some interesting reason one of the leaves didn't do so. So I've just been kind of like figuring it out and trying to like move her around every single day just so she can like turn. But you know, you guys, I'm just leaving it alone. But let me share with you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so what I was trying to share with you guys is, so as you guys can tell, they're all like, you know, facing the sun, hey. But then this guy is like, I don't know if I want to. Let me just turn the opposite way. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to get a stick in my closet so I can um, have them kind of like, have this one just hang out, you know what I'm saying, you guys? But. I think because she just she's a brand new leaf I, you know the way it feels is very fragile compared to this one this one's got like I got time I've been here this one's like I'm new help me <laughs> but you know what? I will figure it out you guys I'm probably just gonna grab a stick and just set it there so they're not like like that you know what I'm saying so but yeah she's looking great she's still thriving and pretty amazing just thriving, looking great. So I want to share with you guys I have some plants that I have hanging up here I got a succulent and I got my purple hearts hanging out up here with the crowd and I also have a Hoya as well so I have those plants hanging out here and I also have some plants in the bedroom One of the grapevines here as well, a water, sorry, a succulent in the water that's been growing. My other one kind of like passed away, so um, it didn't do so well, but you know, I just like to see them grow in the water. I think it's really interesting and pretty cool. Look at that, you guys. And then I just have like a little propagation from a succulent here. And these just hang out in the bedroom. And I also have my other Monastera. I moved her from the living room into the bedroom just so she had a little bit more space to hang out. You know, I felt like in the living room, she just felt like she was crammed. So 
I just left her in the bedroom here and see how she does but this is my other plants and I also want to share with you guys my plants that I have outside as well. So let's see those. Sorry guys, don't mind the shoes, but. I have the pineapple. I am still growing, still learning you guys. If you have any comments, tips, drop that down in the comments. And I have the posters there as well. I got another one there and one there, you guys. And yeah, you guys, those are all my plants I have had so far this summer. So yeah, guys, so that is my summer update of all my plants so far this summer. Definitely, if you guys have liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss out on any more videos. Until next time, guys. XOXO. Bye. Bye.